Good evening, guys. This is Marty M. from M&M Shortline Railroad. Well, this is the Bowstring Bridge. This is the third time I'm trying to do this video. Uh, there must be an issue with YouTube or just operator error, probably. But as you can see, I've got it painted now. That's a nice shade of green. It's close to uh, what I remember from back home, Chicagoland area. Bridges going over the Cal Sag and the Splains River, whatnot. City bridges just kind of reminds me of that green. Just kind of reminds me of it, so I went with it. So, but that's obviously nice, too shiny and new. So I wanted to try my hand at weathering. Got a lot of inspiration from Ron's trains and things, uh, Ron over there, and uh, Steve over at It's My Railroad. Boom! Steve's your uncle. <laughs> Had to throw that in there. But uh, here's my little progress with the, uh, the weathering aspect of it. I've never done this before, but um, just took some inspiration and just kind of went with it. So, this is one side of it. I'm rusting it out. You can still, uh, still kind of make out the green in it, but there's some different shades of rust, and it's not finished, but it's, I've kind of got a direction to go into, and uh, kind of like the way it turned out. So I wanted to make a video, and, uh, just show you the the first first part of this with uh, my weathering and uh, in my eyes kind of turned out pretty good I've never done this before but um, watched watched enough video and uh, got enough ideas from everybody out there to uh, want to try it so here I am but uh, I want to thank everybody for that and the model railroading community because it is a generous and uh, very knowledgeable community and uh, sharing ideas and techniques kind of brought me to this point and it's just a beginning point but uh, gotta start somewhere uh, this is definitely a start, but uh, any comments or suggestions, if I'm doing this right uh, as far as YouTube, uh, I will gladly uh, take heed to and uh, well coached and uh, any suggestions you guys have got, feel free to leave them. So just a short little update. Um, hang on here, I'm going to move the camera don't mind the movement but uh, that's what I used Vallejo Model Air uh, Orange Rust and then that uh, Vallejo Mecca what is that dark dark wa uh, rust wash and then uh, rust texture and matte so that's all I've used so far just kind of uh like I said, getting started with it. I really like it. I'm going to move the camera again. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, you see a little bit of that light rusting there from that orange rust. And it just kind of blended nice. And you can still kind of make out the green through it. So I almost did that chipping effect process technique. But... I figured I'd try this first uh, baby steps just kind of learning how to do it but uh, I want to thank everybody again those are uh, with Ron and Steve those guys I follow and uh, follow a lot of but a lot of other people too on the a lot of other subscribers on their channels uh, that I subscribe to as well 
and uh, just love all the videos and the information and techniques and different ideas and just uh, all the chat. So just want to say thanks again and uh, I'll uh, post another update as I make some more progress on this little project I have going on here for my HO layout and uh, once I get my layout a little more organized and set up I'll uh, I'll show you what my layout looks like and uh, nothing impressive nothing huge just uh, my own uh, little corner of uh, the railroading hobby so we will be posting you very shortly and let you know how this turns out thanks guys